If you've recently purchased a library from us and had it delivered on a hard drive to avoid the large download, or you've ordered the BBC Symphony Orchestra SSD, then this video will show you how to install the products you've received. First, we'll need to plug the drive into the system you're going to install on. You'll know that the drive is connected when you see the blue light turn on. When you open the drive, you should see a folder with the library name. For our dedicated plugin libraries, you will see a list of .part files. For contact libraries, you will see the instruments and samples folders. Once you've confirmed this, you're ready to copy the contents onto your system. To do this, simply drag and drop the entire folder to the location you want the library stored in. This may take a few minutes, but once the folder is copied, you can start the install process. For the libraries that run in our dedicated plugin, we'll go into the Spitfire Audio app. Click Install, and then choose HDD Install on the right. Then look at the location listed at the bottom of the screen, where it says Files will be saved in. You'll want to make sure this is set to the location of the folder on your system, so if it's not, then click the folder icon above and navigate to the library folder. Choose one folder above the library folder, as you can see demonstrated here. If you choose the library folder exactly, then you'll see the name listed twice in the file path at the bottom, as shown here. This means you need to select one folder higher, so click the folder icon once again and choose the folder above. Once the file path is correctly set, click Install. You can watch here as the install process runs. This is running in real time. There will be a small download at the end as part of the authorization process, and then once the download is complete, you are ready to open the library in your DAW. For contact player libraries, go to your account page or your download ready email and find the contact serial number that was sent to you. Copy that serial number into native access, and once the library is added, then choose the library folder. Then the library will appear within contact. And with that, you're all ready to go. If you have any questions, please get in touch with us using the support widget on the bottom right corner of our website. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast, or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.